is the United States dollar under threat? Well, the U.S. dollar became the backbone of the global economy after World War II because of America's robust economy, its democracy, and its transparent regulatory systems, which made the nation seem like a safe place for international investors. But now the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, have announced plans to develop a new currency. Their goal is to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar and other Western currencies as well and protect themselves from international pressure. In fact, Brazil and China have already struck a deal to bypass the dollar when paying for trade goods, which is a major milestone in Beijing's long-term plans to establish its own currency, the, the yuan, as the dominant international currency. So what will this new currency look like and what will it mean for the dollar? Well, joining us now is Professor John Quilch from the Miami Herbert Business School at the University of Miami. So the BRICS nations aren't a formal trade bloc. So if they do in fact create this new currency, how will it ultimately be used? Uh, so I think what we'd find is that it uh, would uh, initially be used in uh, very large transactions that are uh, government uh, style transactions between uh, two or more of the countries involved. Um, you know, just to give a little bit of background here, it is the case that the US dollar as has a role that is outsized relative to the 24% of world GDP that the US commands. So the US uh, dollar is involved in almost 90% of all international trade settlements and around about 60% of foreign currency reserves around the world held by central banks are held in US dollars. So the BRICS nations combined their GDP is around about 25% of world GDP vis-a-vis -vis the US now at 24%. And so it's not surprising that these nations collectively are saying, hey, wait a minute, why should our uh, macroeconomic policies and exchange rates mm -hmm. uh, uh, be at the mercy of uh, US dollar uh, Federal Reserve uh, decision making? So break down what this would mean. If this currency does come to fruition, how is it going to impact the strength of the US dollar? And what does it mean for the average person out there? Well, a good analogy, uh, Natasha, would be uh, the euro, uh, which of course has now been around for uh, uh, three plus decades. Uh, and when the euro came in, um, it was you know, not regarded as that uh, that strong an opponent to the dollar. Mm -hmm. uh, but the fact is that the European nations have, of course, uh, used the euro to facilitate all of their intra-European trade, and some trade beyond that as well is now carried out in uh, euros. So what I think you would see here, if there is such a uh, BRICS-type association, uh, which I think, by the way, would be very difficult to pull off because there there is no uh, trade block, as you said, mm -hmm. that involves these five nations. Uh, but if there were such a uh, currency, as I said, it would primarily be used initially for uh, intra uh, trade among the five nations uh, before then being potentially expanded out to, uh, to other nations. The Chinese have, of course, long aspired to uh, develop a digital yuan as an alternative mm -hmm trading currency, uh, they haven't made a tremendous amount of progress. And so I think this partnership is reflective of that. And uh, the Chinese are trying to use the BRICS uh, association as a way to further push the uh, yuan, uh, though right. they're saying it doesn't matter if it's a digital rupee, a digital yuan, a digital ruble. Uh, but in actuality, I think we all know that uh, it would likely be a digital yuan or at least be heavily based on a digital yuan if it were to come into existence. Have, I mean, we do know that obviously the BRICS nations and China are not the only nations to explore using alternatives uh, to the US dollar. What other nations are considering doing the same? And could we see other countries around the world joining the BRICS nations? Um, 
It's possible, but I think they have to prove themselves first uh, before others are going to uh, line up. I mean, when, when you're thinking about international trade settlements, um, this is not something that uh, you want to waste too much time worrying about. Mm -hmm. And so it's very convenient uh, for every nation to use the US dollar as its settlement uh, mechanism. Uh, however, as I said earlier, the substantial increase in US interest rates in the last six months has really brought home to uh, emerging economies in particular that have dollar denominated debt, uh, that there's a significant risk in, in being overly dependent on the US dollar for uh, their reserves, for their uh, trade settlements. And so mm -hmm. that's the basis on which we're seeing this BRICS concept emerge right now. That's right. why we're seeing it today as opposed to a year ago.